Hey guys, my name is Matt. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> Today we're creating one of the most lovable toys of all time. I feel like I don't make enough cute cakes, so today I wanted to make something extremely kawaii. Chucky, oh, look how precious this guy is. I love how terrifying this cake is, so let's get started. Now, if you like the videos I produce on this channel and you love how adorable, how sweet, this cake is. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're disgusted and scared, give this video a thumbs up. Now this video is brought to you in part by Satin Ice. They sent me a whole bunch of fondant, good quality fondant for free. They sent me a lot and I haven't even finished most of it, which is crazy because I use like 15 pounds every time I make a cake. Now let's get started. Now to create Chucky, I'm starting with a 10 inch round Funfetti cake. Why? Because Chucky is adorable and you want to make sure that the inside is just as cute and lovable as the outside. Am I right? And I cut out this very strange shape which is the shape of Chucky's head I think. But I don't know. This could just be a shape that I created while I was blindfolded cutting a piece of paper. Now I cut my cake into three equal layers and the third layer I'm actually going to cut out an even smaller shape. The first two layers I'm using to create Chucky's hair and then the third layer I'm going to create his face. So I moved all of my layers onto a cake stand and I just started to stack. All jokes aside, Chucky is terrifying. He, in the early 90s, I could not go to sleep after watching this. And my sisters and my cousins, they'd all tell me the same thing right before we watched the Chucky movie or Child's Play or whatever it was. They, this isn't a scary movie. You're gonna love it. It's like The Lion King. Oh yeah? Smack you in the head now. <laughs> so we'd watch the movie, I'd get scared and I'd cry to my mom and then I'd have to sleep in my mom's bed because that's what happens when you get scared. Now I started to carve Chucky's head shape and I realized that I cut off a little bit too much at the top so I'm just filling it in with some cake crumbs and some of the extra cake that I carved away elsewhere. Now I'm cutting away a lot to create his like eyes and his like brow bone. His brow bone is really thick and his eyes are extremely like sunken in. So I was cutting away a lot of cake in that area. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. Now after the crumb coat, I placed my cake into the fridge and I began to watch a series that I love on Netflix. The fifth season of Shit's Creek. I put the I put the words because I'm scared y'all are gonna confuse it with something else. <laughs> but it's called Shit's Creek, you guys. I love the show. I think it's hysterical and there's so much heart. When the characters are going through life events in the show, it actually feels very heartwarming because of the acting and because it's written so well. And so you feel you feel it because you're just sitting in the living room waiting for your cake to set up in the fridge and you're alone so you watch the, you binge watch the series and you start to feel like these characters are a part of your life even though you're not because you're just a lonely boy watching tv <laughs> if you haven't experienced the heartwarming comedy of Shit's creek again with the words go check it out and let me know what you think and if you have been watching it what did you think about the fifth season? I cried. There are specific episodes where I was just crying. Now let's get back to this cake. Now Chucky's nose is tiny, S itty bitty. So I decided to create it with a little bit of fondant. You know, I was scared that it was gonna lose its shape if I just did it with cake and that's why I did it this way. I also added a little bit more fondant to just enhance that brow bone. He's like a Neanderthal almost. So I'm adding my Satin nice white fondant that I dyed with a little bit of food coloring. Placed it on top and I just started to work it into all of Chucky's crevices. I wanted to make sure that because this goes into his mouth that I didn't crack so I worked the fondant in there first. Then I just covered the entire face. This is ugly. Oh god. Looks terrible doesn't it? But 
You saw the end already. You saw the end at the beginning, so you know how bomb this looks. I screwed up on his mouth a lot. I cut out too much cake, and because of that, his lower lip was kind of sunken in. So I pre I like performed like a little bit of like a lip surgery. You know, I had to like add some filler fondant. <laughs> I just tucked it underneath his top lip just so that it would be a little bit more plump. I should do cosmetic surgeries on the side because this looked pretty bomb after I did it. It's really funny, I created two toy cakes and they are very different. Now if you watch my Buzz Lightyear cake then you know that smooth cakes are extremely hard to create because there's no wiggle room if you mess up because you have to keep the texture smooth. But because Chucky was so like damaged looking and withered, it was very easy to continuously shape and morph his face so that I could get the right character details. You know, all of that texture just added to the like decrepitness and disgustingness of Chucky's face. Let me look up decrepit just to make sure that it is what I think it is. Worn out, ruined, by age, or neglect. That is all this. I'm adding some fondant to the sides of the cake to create Chucky's hair, very much like the Annabelle cake that I created. And I screwed up a little bit because he's kind of balding on the right side, so I just smashed the cake in on the side. <laughs> just so that I could get the right shape. I don't know, is that professional? Probably not. <laughs> but that's okay. It worked out in the end. At first I was gonna do the, like, original good guy version of the Chucky doll but I decided to go with the Bride of Chucky version because I loved all of like the scar detail on his face. His hair is a mess, he looks like he went to the best party last night and now it's the morning after and he's just hung over. Creating all of this messy hair was probably my favorite. Adding all of the hair detail that's kind of supposed to be stapled on to Chucky's face, that was brilliant. I couldn't believe how realistic it started to look when I started to add all of the additional pieces. It looks spectacular. It looked like it could be the Chucky doll from the movie. And but it's a cake. How I don't know how I do this sometimes. Now if you want to see more of my scary cakes, I've got a ton and I got a ton more coming your way. Now once I finished with his hair, I started to paint. I just started to fill in all of the cracks with black food coloring, adding the black into all the crevices and then just adding very diluted red food coloring to make it seem like red skin. It's crazy to think that this is food coloring because it doesn't look like it. It looks like makeup. But because of the way that I'm blending it into the rest of the skin, it really just looks like an open sore. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. Also, maybe it's food color, and how about that? You know, if you want something to look creepy, just dilute food coloring in a little bit of magic sauce and blend it into your fondant, and it just adds grit because it falls into all of the cracks. Now, after I finished highlighting all of his scars, I totally forgot that I needed ears, so I added those. I always forget the ears, always. And then it was time to add his eyes. Yes, look at those. I painted those. And I was really unsure if the blue was too light, but it actually was perfect. You can see it just enough that it makes it look like there's no color at all, and that his eyes just like that black pupil. It's terrifying. After I blended the eye into the rest of the cake, I was just, Floored, man. I did it? How? Oh. Man, I like legit lose my words when I'm excited about something because I don't know how I did it. You don't see the full picture right away because you're so focused on creating minute details that you, you just focus on that one spot. And then when you're done, you step back and it's like, what? That little thing was a part of this big thing. How? I added some details to his hair to look a little bit more realistic. And voila, my Chucky cake was complete. He's such a good boy, this guy, isn't he? He's a better boy than most of the dogs that I know. Don't you just want to snuggle with him? 
Who needs a nightlight when you got this best friend till the end? How terrifying is this? Now what's scarier than seeing him in the light is just seeing the silhouettes of him in the dark. And I was actually going to Vegas, so I was trying to check the temperature to make sure that it wasn't too cold. This really creeped me out when I was shooting in the dark and I was just like holding the iPhone around the cake. Gosh, it looks too realistic. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had several nightmares where Chucky is trying to kill me. Yeah, you, you know, you never actually get to kill him in the dream, or I've never killed him in the dream. I just run away scared and peeing in my pants. But, not today, Satan. I grabbed whatever I could and I just stabbed him. Take out all my frustrations on this boy. Oh, you think you're gonna kill me? Not with my screwdriver. Do you know what it's like to be hit with a fun air roller? Now you do. As much as I liked building this cake, destroying it in this way, I wish the seven-year-old kid who was forced to watch Child Play 2 with his sister was able to destroy this cake and didn't have to live with the fear of Chucky. But he wasn't, and that's fine, because the adult version got to. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna say that it's August 29th, and the new Chucky movie has already been released. What did you think? I loved it. Um, had some problems with it, but I loved it. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!